My queen. You're back early. How'd the audience go? That bad, huh? And you're... What is that? Tomatoes? They dare attack you? My queen. Tell me who they were and I'll... You don't want me to? I know they're your beloved subjects and all, but... They can't just attack you without consequences. Yes, yes, I, I know. I know. You don't want to be that kind of ruler to punish your people for every little minor thing. And that's exactly why they love you. But listen, and forgive my bluntness, my queen. If you're going to let them get away with everything, they won't know where the line is drawn. My apologies, your highness. You know... I'm only looking out for you. Or, at least I hope you know that. I am the knight responsible for your personal safety, after all. Which is why I really don't like the idea of you going out there to address them by yourself. I still think it's a bad idea. After all, look what happened. You're covered in rotten vegetables, for goodness sake. Let me call one of your ladies in waiting. Get you washed up and changed and all that. No? Why not? Surely you don't intend on walking around with that stained dress for the rest of the day. Oh no. No, no. Look here. There's no need to cry. It's just a dress. I'm sorry if I was being harsh. P please don't cry. What's that? Your fault. No. Your Highness, no. None of this is your fault. Oh, they'll be sorry when I find out who they are. Look at her. She's in tears. I've never seen her cry over a dress before. Something else must have happened, too. I just don't know what it is. Pardon me, McQueen? What was that? You're not crying over your dress? Well, what else happened? Are you hurt anywhere? Did they hurt you? No. What are those tears for, then? You can tell me. I'm here for you, even if I'm just the guard of a fancy title. You think this entire situation is your fault? What? I'm shocked, my queen. I, I don't know what to say. How in the world could you think such a thing? You are by far the most suitable person to lead these people. Don't ever doubt that. Sure, we're in a bad spot right now, and the country's not doing so terribly good, but that doesn't make you a bad leader. Quite the opposite, if I may speak my mind. You kept the country afloat up until now, and anyone who doesn't realize the tremendous work you put in, I mean, all those sleepless nights you spent searching for answers, is a fool. No, my queen. Please don't blame yourself for the situation we're in right now. The people know you've been doing your best. They understand where your decision is coming from. Come on, dry those tears. Let me see that beautiful smile of yours. The kind that won you the heart of this country. <laughs> there we go. Now let's hear. What did your advisor say? What about the general? He's always been a bit on the gruff side, hasn't he? Ever so loyal to your father, but... Never quite on the same level with you, if I'm allowed to say so myself. Did he speak against you? Why, of course he did. That man wouldn't be able to tell a good decision from a bad one if it stared at him in the eye. Your Highness, I simply don't understand why you haven't set him on his way and got another general. All he ever does, all he ever does is criticize your plans to make himself look superior. To surround yourself with people the same mind would make you weak? 
he makes you consider different viewpoints as well. Well, I mean, you're right, of course, my queen. But the way he was about it, I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one causing all the turmoil that's befallen these lands. Who does he think he's speaking to? You're his queen, after all, and a great woman at that. Even better than your father, in my opinion. Forgive me, my queen. I spoke at a turn. Your father was a great king in his own right, who ruled this country in a way that he saw best. Let's just say there were some aspects of him that didn't and still don't sit well with me. What? Which ones? Are you sure you want me to say? I, I don't wish to offend you by speaking my mind. What? No, not because I think it would end me in the gallows. I am well aware that you're not the old king, your highness. Your heart is too good for that. Well, if you insist, your wish is my command after all. How do I put this, though? In a somewhat nice way. Your father, he had a habit of... How do I put it? Disposing of whoever didn't agree with him. And he was always so busy with his work that he barely even spared a glance at his family. I mean, who does that? Especially towards his own child. Pardon me for saying so, but your father was a cold and cruel man in many ways. sun has gone down, huh? And the stars are out. Look at them shine. Are you sure you want me to keep the balcony doors open? Oh. you close them for yourself if it gets too cold? Alright. I suppose it's up to you. Might I ask that at least you don't let them stay open for too long? It's not exactly summer anymore in the and the temperature isn't as forgiving as it was. I don't want you to become ill and have to remain bedridden. You can certainly do with some more rest after all these sleepless nights you've pulled. Am I lecturing you? No, my queen. Or at least, I don't mean to. Your health and well-being is my top priority, that's all. It'd pain me to see you suffer in any way. You don't need to thank me, my queen. I'm sure any other guard here in the castle would say the same. Oh, but... I'm keeping you awake when you're already exhausted. That yawn right there was the biggest I've ever seen. And I'm kind of counting on you to be too tired to be offended by that. Good evening, then, my queen. I'll be right outside the door here if you need anything. All night long. As always. If the general comes by, or anything else for that matter, I'll tell them you've already retired for the night and can't be bothered until tomorrow. I wish you a good rest, your majesty. Good night.